But wait, oh, Castina people failed to vote for Tinubu in 2023. So, their threat means nothing. I tell you. Their threat means absolutely nothing. Good day all and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice. Most especially to our new subscribers and our returnees for being part of our outstanding news outlet that is devoted and committed to breaking the latest news in headlines to you as it comes. Yeah, we also bring to you news in politics and current affairs, business news, sports, entertainment, and so much more around Nigeria and the world, including where and when they happen. Because as you all know, our sources of information are reliable and accurate. That's why we are one step ahead of others. Thank you all for staying tuned. But before I go further, if this is your first time of coming across our channel, please do us well to subscribe, like and share our videos. And please, don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you will be among the first persons to get notified the minute we break the news to you. Once again, thank you all for staying tuned. Our correspondent gathered that following the decisions of the federal government to relocate some departments of the Central Bank of Nigeria and the corporate headquarters of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria from Abuja to Lagos. The Castina Elders Forum has said that they will not vote for President Bola Amen Tinubu in the 2027 elections if he goes ahead with the decision. Hmm. While speaking to newsmen after a closed-door meeting in Abuja, the Secretary of Castina Elders Forum, Aliyu Mohammed, said that those advising President Tinubu to initiate these relocations do not mean well for Nigerians. According to the report by our correspondent, he said such a person is not interested in the Nigerian project and the North is not afraid of telling Tinubu to his face that we are not ready to re-elect him in 2027 once he starts moving all these critical departments to Lagos. The decision to relocate some departments of the CBA and the corporate headquarters of FAN to Lagos has continued to attract mixed reactions from members of the public. While some Northerners have kicked against the move, some have said that there's nothing wrong with it as long as it is in the best interest of the system. But Tidibu replies them and said, they are clueless and are not serious, that a good lawyer must surgically identified the difference in issues. That was the reply from President Tinubu. Meanwhile, former Kaduna Senator Shewu Sani has raised questions in response to the press conference held by the Casino Elders Forum, cautioning against the relocation of some federal establishments, including some departments of the Central Bank of Nigeria, from Abuja to Lagos. He challenged the elders on why they were silent when armed bandits almost took over half of their state while their son, President, former President Muhammad Buhari, was the president during the previous administration. He said in the post, eminent and respected casino elders came out hard on the federal government in a press conference against the relocation of some federal establishments. He said they have the right to freely express their opinions as citizens and as elders. He said, I believe in their right to challenge any act of 
or constitutionality. But one may ask the morality of their actions, having kept silent for eight years when their son was the president and half of their state was taken over by terrorists. Where were they when their women were raped, children kidnapped, and villagers set and villages set ablaze by terrorists? The former federal lawmaker further questioned where were they when the nation's treasury was looted and their state and region was impoverished under the leadership of their son, of their king, former President Muhammadu Buhari. He said, should we only speak truth to power when our kinsmen are not in power? Oh my God, that was a statement from a Notana, a former senator, Shea Usani. This man, I believe, is an orator. Shea Usani has a sound mind. He's not a bigot. He's not a religious fanatic. Because the way he speaks, you will know this man is highly enlightened. Do you understand? Some other notaries will come out and blab. They will talk. They will yell. They will criticize. They will do all sorts of things. But thank God, the president has shunned them. So no matter what they say, he said he don't care about if they vote for him or they don't vote for him in the forthcoming election in 2027, that they are clueless and they don't know what they are doing. They're just talking and ranting. Anyway, my country people, and I don't see her now, say Tinubu don't hit the ground running as a tell now. And the way Tinubu they go about this is, oh, it they pain the not -anans. For the few things we don't happen for this country, when I go see say the Northerners, eh, they let they bite them seriously. But make her ask you, now Northerners, now I get this country, I've been at their best right to rule, because only this small few, this few small time, what you to do that day, not be small problem, it don't cause for them. You know when wish gather, Eh? When Jesus Christ come to their middle, the way that they disappear, the way they call the name of Jesus Christ, that's what it be for them. Oh. Because I don't any small thing, they don't go green, they don't go green. But they are picking there since eight years, wasted eight years. Anyway, my country people, our comment section day open. We're gonna shoot my for this matter where they go on so we're not allowed that so so threat threatening that they threaten our president. A good are being not good. I will see you again for my next video. Until then, make sure to stay blessed and bye bye.